Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today I have this makeup look for you. It is my full beat festive glam makeup look. I wanted to do the gold glitter and I wanted to pack that glitter on the eyes. But I didn't want to do the classic red lip. I just didn't. I don't know. I'm not really feeling red at the moment. So I've got a little bit more ox blood, a bit more vampy, a little bit more grungy. Let me know what you think of this look down below. I'm living for it. Like... I just love it. I think the eyes are fairly neutral in colour, so you could put any lip with it, and that's what I like about this look. But I just think it's really festive, and I'm really excited for Christmas this year. So if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Because I want full coverage, this is a full beat festive look. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the shade Brown Sugar. Now this is a little bit thick for my liking, and I want it to be... Full coverage, but I don't want it to look really, really cakey. So what I'm going to do is, just for a little bit of luminosity, I'm going to add a little bit of my Iconic London Illuminator Drops. This is in the shade Original. And I'm just going to add a couple of drops into this foundation so we get that really nice, glossy look to the skin. And then I'm going to pop it all over the skin and the neck area with a damp beauty blender. Now, I honestly love using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This way, if I mix it with the Iconic London Drops, it gives me like a really nice kind of radiance to the skin. Also, I like to add a couple of drops of max essential oil sometimes if i want it super sheer because it's just such a thick foundation but this way you get to use it it's a really nice shade on my skin tone as well but it's just not looking cakey it's not really thick and it doesn't look like we've applied a lot but we have the coverage. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Cover FX. This is the Power Play Concealer. This is in the shade Medium 4. Well, it's M Medium 4, and it's really good at shade for my skin tone. So it's going to help me cover up them dark circles, and it's really good coverage as well. I'm going to pop it underneath my eyes, and then I'm going to blend it out using a damp beauty blender. And just kind of even out anywhere that I've got pigmentation on my face. I always have a little bit of a complex, so I always have to go in with a little bit extra. Just a tiny bit extra because my dark circles are the bane of my life and I don't know what it is. I feel like I can just see more because my attention is there. Now to lift the eyes, I'm gonna be using a really old classic. This is a concealer that I used to use when I was so young and I'm so happy that they've come out with more shades. It's the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. It's a bomb ass concealer and it is very, very affordable. Uh, today I'm gonna be using the shade Warm Fair 1B. If you want different shades, they've actually come out with loads of shades. Let me know down below if you were in like secondary school, I think it was, or college. And I used to use this concealer and I was like, why do they only have four shades? Like there was only four shades and now they have like eight. It's still not a lot, but at least they've upped their game and they're on the ball. So I'm going to be using this 16 hour wear concealer. I'm going to be popping it underneath my eyes and down the center of my face as well. And I'm going to be buffing it out with a damp beauty blender just to really brighten and lift the skin. Honestly, what a bomb ass concealer this is. It's got such good coverage and it's so affordable and they have more shades. It honestly just takes me back to my childhood. I love that concealer. I used to go through them like on a monthly basis. Now because we're going to be doing the absolute most, I'm going to be cream bronzing and cream contouring. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay. This is a multifunction makeup stick in the shade 070 Cocoa. I like this shade for bronzing because it's got that really nice warm reddish undertone to it. So I'm going to take the stick. I don't really like the blush brush applicator. Take the stick and then just pop it everywhere that I would normally bronze the skin and buff it out using a fluffy brush just to add a little bit of warmth and colour back in to our face. Now I think I specifically go to find like bronzer colours and contour colours in a cream format. One, because I really like working with them, I think they look super natural. And two, just because they don't dry down, I feel like if you buy a specific bronzing stick, it tends to be a little bit drier. Whereas a foundation will always be a little bit more moist, I hate that word, but it will just be easier to blend and it, you can sit it on the skin for a while and it won't kind of just create like lines that you can't or you struggle to blend it out it will just be nice and soft i always like to add a little bit of contour just to chisel out my cheekbones so i'm going to be using the makeup revolution a fast base foundation stick this is in the shade f15 and i'm just going to pop it on the hollows of my cheeks and then just use quite a dense straight brush just to buff that out very gently just to create a really nice chiseled cheekbone the trick is not to go a bit too heavy handed, which I think I did with that, but it's okay. Take your cream bronzer brush and then just kind of go over it to buff, buff it out to make it a little bit softer. I'm going to move on to our eyes now and we'll set the face a little later. 
I have been absolutely loving the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Like, I think I swatched this a long time ago and I was like, meh. But when I've actually used it on my brows, it's incredible. So I'm going to use a spoolie just to brush my brows through. I'm in the shade number 5 and then I'm just going to fill my brows in. As I do usually, I'm not going to try and go too thick. I'm just going to fill in the gaps and still get them looking a little bit natural, but just polished. I'm going to just quickly set my brows in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love this. I know it's clear and it feels like you're not doing anything. But actually it just texturizes the brows a little bit. And it sets them in place. I like to just do this step to my brows so they look really nicely polished. For an extra finishing touch, I like to just highlight underneath my brows with a concealer. Of course, I'm going to be using the Kevin O'Quan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX10. Just using a flat brush, I'm just going to go underneath my brows just to really clean up all of the edges and make them really sharp. I'm just going to buff that line out now using a damp beauty blender. So I want to do a fairly universal party look, festive look. So I know that I'm going to go for something that is more of an earthy coloured glitter eye. I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow palette in the style Grind. This has got beautiful earthy tones in everything that you would use more so on a daily basis and then an odd chunk of green in there. So I'm going to start off with this colour right here. It is more of kind of like a yellow mustard shade and I'm going to pop this into the crease to just create an original smoke, a really nice transitional smoke colour on the lids. I feel like this colour is just so beautiful, like it doesn't look like a lot in the pan, it looks quite mustardy, it doesn't look like it would do a lot on a brown skin tone, but actually when you build it up, it just creates a really nice kind of halo, halo of smoke around the eye, which is really neutral and it's just a universal transition colour that would work, especially on a brown skin tone, with any sort of eye look. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the same transition colour and I'm just going to smoke it on our lower lash line. Just using that fluffy brush again, just so everything is really nicely smoked. Now going back into the NYX palette, I'm going to take this reddish brown now. I'm going to take it on a smaller brush, this is a MAC 221. And I'm going to pop this into the crease to create a little bit of depth. So we're going to swipe it back and forth just to really create some depth and some dimension to the eyes. Now that that reddish brownish colour is on the lids and I'm happy with the intensity, I want to take it a step further and take the darkest brown in the palette. On that same brush, I'm just going to pop it on the outer third in a kind of upside down V shape to wing it out a little, just on the corners of our eyes to add the extreme amount of depth because I want the crease to still stay that reddish brown, but I just want it to darken up on the edges. Once that dark brown's on, I'm actually going to be doing a half cut crease. I don't typically like cut creases just because I feel like they're a little bit harsh. I like my eyeshadow to usually be very blown out, even with glitter. I like it to be spread out and quite soft looking. However, because it's festive season, I want to go ham on the glitter today and pack it on. So I'm going to be using a really flat brush. This one is just by Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to be using a bit of concealer and I'm going to be carving out just a half cut crease coming out halfway onto the lid and then patting this concealer on so we've got the shape as to where we want to put the gold glitter. The half cut crease is on. You can see that when you add concealer, when you add a brighter colour, your eyes open up. They look so much bigger. I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow palette again, using the lightest gold in that palette. And I'm just going to be pressing on that light gold on top of the concealer just to set it in place. Now, if you're someone that hates using glitter because you just can't get it off, it is annoying. I feel like for this look you need glitter, but if you hate glitter then I would stop here and leave your eyes like this, just with a little bit of the gold shimmer on the cut crease. But I'm going to go that strip further and I'm going to be adding a little bit of gold glitter. I'm going to be using a max gold glitter because I feel like it's just the perfect tone of gold for this festive season. And to fix it on, I'm going to be using the Glitter Fix Gel. This is by Stargazer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of the gel onto the lids and then I'm going to pat the gold glitter on very carefully, trying not to get it on the skin and I don't want any fallout. Just packing it carefully just until we've got the inner corners and that eyelid packed full of glitter. I think I've forgotten how much I love packed on glitter. Like usually I'm not a fan because I think it looks too chunky. Now if you want to save yourself some ag, don't do your base first. Like me, do your base afterwards and do the eyes first. 
but oh, they look so nice. I'm just gonna mix the red and the brown in that grand palette again and just smoke out my lower lash line to complete it. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna use Crylons at Cake Liner in the shade Ebony because it's the blackest of the black. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of this in on my waterline just to define my eyes. Now for that inner corner highlighter, because I wanna do the most and I don't wanna use a shadow, I'm gonna be using the Max Reflex Gold Glitter, just popping that on a really, really small, dense detailer brush and I'm just gonna pack that in into the inner corners just to create a little bit of sparkle in the inner corners and to open up our eyes a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of Revlon's Volly Amazing Mascara just to finish the eyes off and then move on to face before I add any falsies. Let's set this cream contour in place. I'm going to be using, this is my Nikita's Hula Benefit. It's got my name on it. Thank you so much to Benefit for putting my name on it. It's super cute. I love Hula Bronzer. I like to use it more like a contour color and then a warmer one for my bronzer. So I'm just going to pop this on the same brush that we used. And I'm just going to stamp it on just to deepen and set that cream contour in place. I'm going to set my under eyes a tiny bit because if you're going out, you're probably going to be out for a while. You're going to be drinking. You don't really want to touch up your makeup. I'm going to be using the Givenchy. This is the Prismere Libraire in Satin Blank Number no. 5. And it's a loose powder. I love this powder so much. It's got little flecks of glitter in it that you can't see. But it just creates like a really nice luminous look to the skin. So I'm going to pop a little bit of this just underneath my eyes and down the sides of my nose to set that area in place. For bronzer now, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Water Weight in the shade Dark. I like to mix both the colours together and I'm just going to set that cream bronzer in place just to intensify it a little bit as well. Gives a really nice sun-kissed look to the skin. Just using a fluffy brush to apply this. Now that the bronzer is on... And it is popping. Like, I don't think I've ever had such a sculpted cheekbone. I think I'm going to move on to lips. Because I like to do the lips. Because it's quite a bold one. To see if I need anything else on the skin before I move on, I suppose. So I kind of didn't want to do the classic red lip. Of course, you can do any lip with this eye. Because it's such a neutral, neutral, earthy toned eye. That you put a pink with it, a nude with it. A black with it if you wanted whatever color you wanted now I didn't want to do the classic red look just because I'm a bit over the red so I think I want to do something that's similar to my nail color like a really dark berry but an oxford color so I'm going to line the lips to start off with with max lip liner pencil this one is in the shade night moth I'm just going to fill in my lips a little bit with it as well but most importantly just line it just to clean up our lip shape now I'm going to fill in my lips with, this is a Lipland liquid lipstick in the shade Montenegro. And it's very similar to this Lipland colour, but it's just got more of a lasting effect on it. So if you're going out, it's going to last a little bit longer. So I'm just going to pop this all over the lips. Now I love this colour so much, and you could wear it like this, but I want to add just the tiniest hint of red and get it a little bit more ox bloody looking. So I'm going to be using, this is the Beauty Bakeries Lip Whip in the shade Cranberry Stiletto. I'm just going to pop this on the lip and mix it in using a fluffy brush. So it's really annoying because I'm naturally someone who has quite misshapen lips. This side's a little bit fuller. This bottom lip is less full. So I always have to try and make it full, but it doesn't always look symmetrical. So... I'm just going to roll with it. Now that my lips are on, I'm just going to quickly pop on some lashes. These are the Amaya lashes in the style Snow White. And I'm just going to pop these bad boys on quickly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of this mascara on my bottom lashes as well now. And now I'm going to add my final touch, which is the highlighter. I'm going to be using the Technic Mega Glow highlighter, mixing these two golds at the bottom together. I'm going to be popping the majority of it on at my cheekbones and then just take the excess down the center of my face as well. Now to finish, I'm just going to spritz with a little bit of Revolution's Cooling Fixing Spray all over just to get rid of any powderiness and to let all the powder settle in to the skin. And that, guys, is it for my festive glam look. I love how this looks so much. I think it's beautiful. And I still think it's quite autumnal, but it is very festive. You could always just switch the lip up, or you could add a different colored glitter if you want. It depends on what your outfit is. I just love it. I'm living for it. Also, let me know down below if you are a Sagittarian baby, because my birthday is actually next week. And I might wear something similar, or I might do a birthday glam look for you. Don't actually know what I'm wearing yet, but I'll probably film that for you. Let me know down below if you want to see that. And that is it. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you liked it. Let me know down below all of your thoughts. And I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.